Hello students, let me begin by introducing myself. I am Dr. Harpreet Bhatia. I welcome you to this course of Counseling Psychology. The entire course will be for 15 weeks in which we will extensively cover the different aspects of counseling, its theoretical as well as the practical applications in different settings. The objective of this course is to apprise you about the many theoretical approaches to counseling and give you an understanding about the applications of the various principles of counseling. It is meant for developing skills as a counselor. Let us begin by understanding the week wise schedule of the entire course. Week 1 contains two modules which are primarily introductory in nature. These modules discuss issues, challenges and future trends in counselling. From this week onwards till the seventh week, the different theories of counselling and their applications will be the focus of the different modules. The four modules in week two cover the directive approaches in counselling, wherein the psychoanalytic and the behavioristic models are discussed. An understanding of the ways in which these counselling approaches can be applied in different counselling settings is also given. Week 3 begins again. It comprises of two modules discussing the perspectives and practical approaches to person-centred counselling. The modules of this week cover in brief the historical background and elaborative explanation of the person-centred approach and its application. Week 4 covers the extension and gestalt approaches to counselling. The four modules in this week will cover the theoretical and practical aspects of these two paradigms. Further, the two modules in week 5 discuss in detail the perspectives on the theory and practice of the rational emotive approach to counselling. The two modules are part A and B of the rational emotive approach. The cognitive approaches to counselling are discussed in the three modules in week 6. In these three modules, both the cognitive paradigm and the cognitive behavioural paradigm are covered in great detail. Week 7 comprises of two modules that cover the non-traditional approaches to counselling. This week deals with the theoretical and practical applications of the non-traditional approaches to counselling. The topic of crisis intervention using different models is also discussed in this week. Week 8 will be a revision and assessment week in which you can revise all that has been covered in the last 7 weeks. The next 2 weeks will cover specific skills in counselling. Week 9 will look at the affective skills in counselling. The 2 modules consisting of part A and B will give in detail the affective skills required in practice of counselling. In week 10, we will talk about the behavioural and cognitive skills in counselling. Both these important skills will be covered extensively in the four modules of this week. Week 11 consists of four modules. These modules will deal with very pertinent issues of school and career counselling. A detailed description of these areas of counselling will be given. The three modules of week 12 will be dealing with family and couple counselling. These modules will discuss in detail the family dynamics, family counselling models and couple counselling models. In week 13, we will talk at great length about spiritual counselling. These two modules will discuss roots of spirituality, relationship between spirituality and religion and clinical importance of spirituality. The topic of counselling at workplace will be covered in the two modules in week 14. These two modules will talk about the specific characteristics of workplace counselling as well as the roles and responsibilities of the workplace counsellor. In week 15 will be a revision and assessment week in which you can revise all that has been covered in the last seven weeks. Let us start with this course. I wish you all the best for the program. Thank you.